from that, wasn't it? Certainly the first goal is the most crucial goal in most games, to be fair. Um, and it was a, a dreadful start. After that, though, then came the second goal. I mean, all right, it may have been a masterstroke. Their manager just got hold of Nathan Elder, who you referred to before the game. You said, you know, he's a big boy, he's a target boy up there. Mm. Two goals. Mansfield did get the chances, but they weren't able to bury them. The difference in the, the, uh, the game today was that they took their chances. They, we probably had more chances than they did, and clear-cut chances. However, you have to be clinical, and we weren't clinical. But um, the willingness was there, certainly. But however, the goals are won by scoring goals, um, and, we, and we didn't score. And, and they took the chances um, that they had, really. Other than that, in the second half, they were restricted to shots from 25 and 30 yards. You gained much from looking at that second half, because it, there was no difference, really, between the sides in the second half. All right, Marriott did pull... Uh, a couple of good saves out when they shots from from long distance etc but there was ample chances to get the real pressure on then a goal goes in it's offside that could have made it a frantic last few minutes debatable whether it was offside or not isn't it there's two decisions there today that won the handball the defender Blanchett clearly handballed it and it was um, put onto Rob Duffy however the same linesman could be offside goal which is very debatable David, I know you say that what happens below down there is private, but can you give us a gist of what you said to the, the players after the game? Was it a loud voice or was it a voice that said you could have got more out of this? We know we could have done that in the second half, certainly. Uh, I'm not going to criticise the players for the second half performance, but um, no, I can tell you what I did today. I said that at half time, is that you can't defend like that. And it's been a harsh lesson for Scott Garner today. He played against a, a, a robust player. But I don't care whatever level you play at and whatever level you um, defend that. If you defend as poorly as we did in the first half, and I'll, I'll exclude Gary Silk from that, but I felt three of my defenders were quite poor today in the first half. Second half we got better, we were a bit more organised, but I felt Scott showed his... Um, his maturity today and he's got to learn from that. The big player, Nathan Elder, in the second half, you made a change in central defence. He didn't really get much of a look in in the second period. No, I felt in the second half we created a lot of changes and we, we played some decent football. Um, certainly we were stronger, but at 2-0 down the, the game, uh, the next goal was always important. I felt if we'd have got that goal then we'd have certainly been in the game and I think um, and that showed on reflection. However, um, well, I'm bitterly disappointed with our defending today. I think um, in the first half you can't Look, I'm not here to make excuses. At the end of it, we've had a long journey down, um, and I'll back the players on that. You know, we've had, it is a long journey down, and you know, we haven't played for three weeks, but they came out of the traps faster than we did. Um, and there's no excuses, but because you can't defend as poorly as that. My job, no holds barred, is to ask the hard question. Long journey down, eight o'clock this morning, setting off. Isn't that a situation that really you shouldn't have been in a situation doing that? Well, I mean, that's, that's a political question. You're asking me, would I like to have done an overnight? Of course I would have done. The chairman knows that, but I'm right behind the chairman with where we're going regarding it costs money, and we don't have them funds. David, thank you very much for joining Master 103.2. Thank you. Does that kind of um, boost your results to get to the defended for next weekend? Yeah. In an ideal world, yes. In an ideal world, uh, I'd certainly. The chairman knows that I'd like to have brought a centre half in. Um, but availability is, an, is one thing, and, uh, and finance is certainly another. But um, I'm not here to moan. I, I know. I'm saying that you know we're, we're, we're doing fine. But however, we, we must. We can't. No one can defend as poorly as that. I and mean, Craig's sitting with us now, and he knows that. And um, you know, ultimately, if you give two goals away, you, you have a mountain to climb. I can ask the question to the chairman, of course I can. Um, and otherwise, I ask, we, you know, we work very uh, amicably. But likewise, as I say, that costs money. Some clubs have got that finance to be able to go out there and extend their budgets. So we have to make sure that the club's managing itself and make sure it's right. Uh, and, I, and I understand that and I respect that. Well, well, David, at 2 0 defeats, and I'm sure it's the nature of the two goals you've conceded that'll hurt you the most tonight, isn't it? Yes, it does, yeah, certainly. It does. It was, um, I won't swear, but poor defending. Um, you can't defend like that. If you defend like that, you, don't, you get beat, um, invariably. But um, I won't uh, criticise our forwards today. I felt that even though we didn't score, we created a number of chances. And at 1 0 down, you created a lot of chances to get back, and I thought at that point that you would perhaps have gone on to, to get something out of it, but then the second goal ended that. Yeah. They've scored, you know. 
and then we created three very good chances, three good chances, but they didn't get any. And that's the difference between winning at any level, at any level you play, at a high level of premiership. Thank you ever so much. Clinical and decisive, but I felt that they um, they took their chance and, and we didn't, and that's been the deciding factor in the game. What's that about then? Because Kyle Perry, for instance, was banging goals in earlier in the season, and he's had three decent opportunities today and come off the field without having scored. What, what's changed? If an elder had one chance, he took it. Craig had three. Uh, sorry, Pez has had three. Duffs has had two. Maybe more. Um, so. Just being that little bit um, clinical, but that's what you pay your money for, and that's where you get um, the difference in all levels. And, you know that, that they've invested in, in the boy and heavily, and um, you know it's worked today for him. You brought another striker on at the end, of course. Your new signing, John Shaw. He almost scored, hit the post. Uh, what, what are we going to see from him from now on? Well, John's lively. He, you know, he, he's, he's um, a, a fast attacker. He certainly win the first ball as well. And we've got that, that certainly, I thought we dominated in the air today, um, forward-wise, but however, um, we just couldn't get that little bit of breakthrough. I think if we had got a breakthrough, we'd have been back in the game at 2-0, the next goal was always the, the decider. But they, I, I was very, I thought um, Wimbledon played um, defensively very well, I the centre-half played it as then. What about your defending then? We've, we've touched on it already. You made a change at half-time and I thought Luke Jones did well yeah. having come on, but why did you bring Scott Garner off? Was that an injury or was there a particular reason for that? It's an easy one. He was having a, a nightmare. And, um, don't want to criticise the young man. He's a young man. He's learning the game, and the, the, you know, experience will come. And today was a tough experience for him because he got um, shown uh, a few lessons, and the, the boy elder certainly dominated him. Um, but Jonah came on second half. I felt he needed to. But I don't want a boy to get hurt. You remember, he's a young man. You've got to look after him. And, um, he's learning all the time. But against Cambridge, they both played together. Jones was out, and I felt you stick with that. But I think as any manager do, you've got to stop that. Um, he was having a tough time. And you, you have to appreciate the fact is that he's a young boy. He seemed to make Michael Bruff play okay. better in the second half as well, because actually second half he made some super tackles, didn't he? Yeah, oh, I felt he did, yes, the recovery tackles. Um, all, all I'll say is that you know, Michael's experienced enough to be able to lead as well. He's been a, played at a higher level and he's played with some, some good clubs. Um, but however, you know, a back four is not just about one player, it's about a unit. And um, today, the, for the first 20 minutes, that unit was, um, was semi-skinned. Does today's defeat hurt more because it's against another side fighting for those players? Positions with you, um, No, not really, because there's still a, a long, long way to go. Um, they're a deep, very good side. You know, face it, they're organised, they're strong. Um, on reflection of it, you know, we've had some very good chances. But as I say, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about. It's not just about the defeat. It's about lessons you learn, and we're all learning. Um, and then, your boy, you know, the young boy Scott, he'll have to learn the harsh lesson today. Okay, thanks, Dave.